Hello again YouTube, Enzo back bringing you another video and today we're just going to do a quick overview and compare Combiner Wars Computron to Combiner Wars Superion. Uh, picked up Computron yesterday, it was a really horrible, horrible bank holiday weekend, just thunder, lightning all night, rained all day, couldn't do anything that we planned to do so I decided to take the family out so we went for a McDonald's, went for a drive, uh, came past uh, a toy store so I said oh let's go in and treat the kids. So they went in and got what they wanted, and out of the corner of my eye, I actually saw a Computron in the corner, a bit dusty. Um, had a good look at him, I thought, shall I, shan't I, shall I, shan't I? And my little boy said, oh, go on, dad, go on, dad, get him, get him. <laughs> so I did, uh, there, was no, there was no label on him, took him to check out, and they said, ah, oh, call it 40 quid. Oh, bag, and I thought, well done, I'm going to bite your hand off for that, so here he is. Um, like I said before, I wasn't originally going to pick up this figure because I've said in a couple of reviews that I wasn't going to do the Combiner Wars or the Titan Returns line for a while because obviously I'm sick and tired of doing uh, you know, remolds and repaints and stuff like that. But um, for 40 quid, you're getting six figures, you're getting a Combiner. Well, I couldn't really say no. So, and now that I've got him out of the box and I've transformed him into Computron, he does look pretty good. He has grown on me. Um, I got Superior out of storage as well. Uh, combined him back together, put everything on, just so I could see um, how they look together. Um, because one of the good things about this particular um, combiner is you don't have the hand foot guns. You have properly moulded hands and feet, which are good. I'll just give you a little close-up of them now. So that's the hand. There we are. And you can see the feet there now. And if you have a look at Superior's feet, and, and his hands, things like that. Obviously, they transform into guns as well, and gatling guns. These are just basically plastic hands and feet. But what a big difference it makes. It looks so much better. So finally, Hasbro has listened to the community and thought, right, okay, no more hand foot guns now. We'll give them proper hands and feet. Happy days. So, yeah, and they look really good together. Really, really good. And they've even got Computron's um, head right, I have to say. That is brilliant. That is a really good, accurate head sculpt. I like that. And that is obviously is the perfect effects head for Superion. That's how he looks in the show. And that's how Superion, uh, that's how Computron looks. And it looks good. I'm really digging the reds and the purples and all the different colours. You know, he, he, he does stand out as a combiner. He looks very, very good. Unfortunately, when I was putting the figures together in combined mode, quite a few issues. Streetwise, well, the streetwise mould, but uh, light speed, his, he doesn't stay together very well, doesn't tap together very well. His legs always separate. Um, after breaker's head has popped off straight away, the ball joint has broken straight away. I was only transforming him into combining him on and off the game. Couldn't believe it. And Strafe has the same problem as well. I can't get the legs to tab together. So obviously when you're posing him, stuff like that, everything comes apart. So I'm very disappointed by that. And another thing Strafe doesn't come with, he doesn't come with any weapons. So we've got the same uh, neck breaker, after breaker comes with the same weapons as Groove does. Uh, Light Speed comes with the same weapons as Streetwise, the triple barrel shotgun. Nose Corner's only got the drill bit. Strafe doesn't come with absolutely anything. And obviously... Um, Scatter shot has this weapon as well. So very disappointed because on the Takara version you can actually take these weapons off the back and he can ha he can handle them. He can't do anything. So Strafe doesn't have any weapons. So very disappointed about that. Um would have preferred it if they'd had it. And to be honest with you, um the head sculpts are exactly the same. There's no difference in, in head sculpts at all. So that's another thing I'm a bit annoyed about. So separately in vehicle mode. They look perfect. In combiner mode, they look perfect. Individual bots, that's where they're going to suffer. So anyway, we'll get into that in another review now. So please stay tuned for each single figure will have an individual review and comparison with their opposite selves. And then we'll get back into the combiner mode. So I just wanted to show this off uh, for the time being. Um, yeah, uh, plenty more reviews uh, coming shortly. I just haven't stopped since coming back off holiday. Um, it's straight back into work. I've been afternoons, nights. I've been absolutely all over the place. There's loads I want to do. I have done one or two, but to actually sit down and do them to get peace and quiet to do them, uh, it's not happening at the moment. So I do apologize for that. I, I will get back to my normal uh, schedule as, um, as soon as I can. I will do some uh, nice reviews. 
So one thing I am going to get as well, I am going to order the Perfect, Perfect Effects Upgrade Kit, which is basically the same as Superion. So he will come with a new blaster, he will come with a new chest plate, and he will also come with a new head. I don't know about swapping the head. I quite like the head as it is. Like there's just enough difference there between them. I think that head sculpt is fine. That's very Computron. I think I'll keep that as it is. But if you want me to change it, obviously I will change it to just just to show you. But I think that head sculpt is is um, is good enough. So yeah, dear all, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you very much, and please stay tuned for more video reviews coming soon. Dear all, Tara.